Now, once you're done installing the file from HP, from the HP website, the file for HP QTP 11.0, let me just click on that. Once you're done installing that, remember that that this is actually a a .zip file. This file that you've installed or downloaded is a zip file. So you have to unzip it first. So you'll have to unzip it with some type of unzipping software. You can use WinZip. You can use a trial version of WinZip if you don't have WinZip. So if you open that file, and once the zip file is complete, completely downloaded, before you open that file, make sure that you have some form of unzipping software. Or go to Google, go to winzip.com, and I'll just show you winzip.com click on download trial version click on download winzip this will install winzip again before you open that zip folder make sure you have uh, winzip or some other type of unzipping file software okay so let me open this up so in this case I installed WinZip just after in installing the zip folder from the HP site so once I've done that I'll click on double click on the zip file and so then you'll see WinZip if you're using WinZip you'll see this option click on use evaluation version Now you will see this, this window for unzipping the folder. So this is currently a zip folder, so you have to unzip it. Click on that file, then right click on extract, and now you can specify the path where you would like to install install the unzipped folder. So for now, I'll just use a desktop and I'll click on extract. So now it will extract all of the files that are in the zip folder. Basically, in a simple way right now, what it's doing is it's a, a pretty big folder, which is why they zipped it, why they compressed it. Zipping means that you're putting it in a box and just imagine putting something in a box, putting something that is bigger in size and putting it into a small box so that it's easier to download, easier to move. So right now it's in the box and with WinZip we're opening the box and extracting the contents. So we're taking it out of the box. That's what it's doing right now is it's being taken out of the box. So we'll wait for that. So let's wait for the extraction to finish. And it'll take probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's done, once it's done, uh, check out the last video for installation.